All right, we got one that I'm I'm quite confident is is cursed. I I watched a bit of it. Um, well, it, first off, it literally is cursed because uh, uh, when I watched the video of this one, the first thing he did was basically open up the run and then try to check his uh, history. And I don't know why this bug still exists. I don't. It seems like it should be an easy one to fix and like a high priority one to fix, but. That basically forces you to lose the run, and not only that, you lose your win streak. So, it's literally cursed, but also figuratively cursed, because I think this combo just... It, it has to be the weakest, other than Tethys Dregs. Um, it's, it's just pretty weak. Um, you know, sometimes you find uh, Razor Sharp Edge. What I, what I do remember from this run is that there is no Razor Sharp Edge, so I thought it was a good candidate to you know, try one that's tough like that. Um, and I, I've practiced this particular combo, Penumbra Restore, a lot when I did my last tournament, I think it really helped me. But I lost a lot of games. Like, it's really, it really is, like, a tough one to win with consistency, especially when you don't find Razor Sharp Edge, or just, like, the Ember Drain Package, um, and whatnot. You know, just the OP stuff. If you had to play this one tight, it's it's a nightmare. I did see he had a Awoken Hollow. We're gonna play as if we don't know. I mean, I don't know where it showed up, so I'm gonna still play it as if I don't know anything about the run, right? But we'll see. And it, it and I won't count it as my you know I'm doing my Umbra streak right now. I won't count it toward the the Umbra streak. But it is pretty hilarious that <laughs> even though it's Voix's seed, yet again Antumbra Salt as the opener. That just sucks. That's like salt in the wind. Tell you what, though, we're not sad to see a Grovel at the start, or a Glimmer. Those are good. Just annoying bosses, though, all around. No Architect, either. Granted, Architect isn't great in this uh, combo, but I would still take it. It at least does something unlike these. I mean, I'd probably just do... Glutton, I guess. Um, I've gone back and forth. Like, I, I really think Monstrous is just useless. Um, I thought maybe in this combo it's okay because you have big heals potentially, but even then I'm like, I don't know. You have to commit to a pip upgrade. You don't always want that. Of course, if you do the self-infused Awoken Hollow, then it's a bit more natural to go Monstrous, but again, you never know. We're playing as if we don't know. Uh, and Glutton, I mean, we have extra morsel stuff, so it just makes sense. I think Glutton is just more powerful in general anyway. Not saying it's good, not saying it's anything more than a horrible, but it is at least something, right? Well, none of these help us right now. We have no consumables. Um, refracting lenses most all always will do something. Thorn might not. Um, and... Honestly, we're probably going to leak a lot, so Refracting Lens is probably good. I think Glutton is strong enough early game that we should be able to take this. I also have, you know, a lot of AoE backline clear stuff, so even though if we face a Crossbowman, which is, it isn't even necessarily that high of a chance that we do face a Crossbowman, but... This is an interesting choice. I mean, Trader's Quill again doesn't do anything for us, but... I, would, I mean... Uh, it'd be hard for me to take Trader's Quill, I guess. I mean, it has technically, like, synergy with the artifact I have right now, and that I want to play consumables, but I, don't, I have no consumables. Might be able to push me more toward justifying this magic, because honestly, you'd want the Awoken Banner over the Umbra Banner, but... I think at the same time you'd want the steel. I mean, there's a steel here too. Maybe maybe we don't need the steel. Um, probably should try to justify the Awoken Banner. I mean, there's an Awoken Banner here too, and this this looks like a good route. Give up a Hellvent, but the other things are shit. Steel's not that great. Then again, the trinkets. I hard to really know, but. I feel like this range of trinkets is hard to have money on. You just typically, typically would spend. I mean, if I went Hellvent, maybe the trinkets make sense. Um, this steel sucks. 
this magic is really good. I mean, honestly... Honestly, there's not that many good steals, so I'm still, like... I'm kind of wanting to hit this steal. I know I have a good early game, but... Emblem is good early game, and basically throughout the whole game, it's probably just going to be Emblem. Mask might be okay. I, I think we just do Emblem. Hard to really say no to that, right? Ooh, unit draft. Fuck. <laughs> it's, uh, why has it got to be armor, man? It could have literally been anything else. Um... I mean, there's literally no way I can kill the backliners. 18 damage backliner, I can't kill. And he would have a tank in front. And, uh, you know, either case. You don't. You also don't know. It might even be... Maybe I get through the tank, but it could even just be second wave, second guy that's, that's infused, right? Um... I don't see any... Even even if I deal with that, I have to deal with a crossbow guy with that I can't kill behind the boss, which, I don't know, this boss is easier, so... I don't know, maybe we can do it. If I if I take the unit draft, maybe I can get a Awoken and still go to the steal. So we don't really want a number of unit. I, don't, I, I honestly think I'm going to die if I do this. Let's just, let's just not. I will say that is, if I had gone monstrous, I'd be more open to doing this, so maybe I should have just went monstrous, but it's fine. I think, I, I guess it, it's icky to say this, but like, I have Umbra into Umbra here, if I want it, and like, I already am starting with so much morsel stuff that it's, in one of the better morsel cards, right? So, I already know I have a morsel line somewhat. Uh, that doesn't scare me too much away from going Umbra here. As much as Umbra does suck. Or as much as their banners suck, at least. Huh. Um. I mean, I should probably kill this. I'm just thinking, like. It'll take a Antembra and a Glimmer to kill this. Even, like, two Glimmers doesn't kill this, so. It's possible I want to shoot that. Nah, we'll just, we'll just do this for now. It's a pretty okay play there. Um, just throw that away there, why not? Stack regen probably won't be relevant, but you never know. It's a lot of damage coming in. Oh, there's the Glimmer. Uh, sure. 299. Hmm. It's not the best thing I've ever seen, um, and that damage wasn't really that relevant. Maybe I can get a damage morsel? Those are damage morsels. Uh, just do this maybe, sure. Alright, we actually get through that without taking any fire damage. Not too bad at all, and we'll definitely kill this boss, because you'll notice my stats are just fucking gigantic here. We'll give him our all. I came all this way. Why do you think I came all this way? Hmm. Well, perils... It's a way to scale if you can find holdover. Kind of need spell chain as well. Oh, I mean, obviously, if you just find the Ember Drain package, diligent. It's not. It's fine. You can do it into diligent, but in this combo, where not much else might, you know, be helping us. Um, I don't know. I don't think we need Mind Collapse. I mean, I like all of these cards. This is a great example of like what I like to see from Umbra in the common tier. You don't like to see this. Imagine if we had started with 
just these cards instead of this crap would be amazing. I'd, I would love to have started with two making of a morsels, for example. But, you know, you can't always get what you want. Um, so there's magic there. This magic's pretty damn takeable. This magic's very takeable. That magic is, like, maybe takeable. And then this one's... By that point, we would definitely... I mean, here's a problem. This magic's probably not takeable, because I, if I do hold over perils, I have to help it here and here. You need three of them, minimum. Two minimum, but really three minimum to make that work. Even then, it's iffy. I would have to definitely dedicate gold to zero-costing other stuff for fodder. I mean, making of a morsel could work if we're... You gotta think, in the back of my mind, I know that Razor Sharp Edge isn't showing up, but even if it, even if I didn't think that, at this point, I only got one more ring to find it. It's about a 40 or less percent chance that I find it. Because, you know, there's eight commons. There's chances to get uncommon or rare, but on, you know, not factoring that in, it's a three out of eight um, to get it. So less than a 3 out of 8 chance to find Razor Sharp Edge. So you gotta be thinking like the scaling, like Perils is an option, but it has to have Holdover to actually be a scaling option. Otherwise it's just a utility card. We don't need removal, we have plenty of that. Because another thing is like, I need to have these magics to actually make these glimmers worth it. At 2 damage they're just not worth it. Um making of a morsel I'm I'm still thinking maybe we want to go merchant of steel um, I mean making of a morsel is pretty good scaling it's a six and a six we already have a gorge penumbra I'm trying to resist the knowledge that there's probably an awoken hollow here or a sweeper I know I'm missing out on one by not going there, so I feel like I'm in the back of my mind. I'm that my prior knowledge of seeing what the end of his run was like makes me want to go left, but I just don't know if I would do that realistically here, even with pretty decent chance of getting holdover on perils. I gotta think I would just go to the right with making of a morsel. Uh, it wouldn't be the removals, but sustain I could see happening. You know, we don't probably a mortal trade we don't have we may not get it we probably want some sort of a sustain option at any rate we at least have something to give ourselves uh you know five health with i don't know if that really factors in much let's see what we got here quick and nothing else that i like oh my god <laughs> All right, he definitely didn't go this route. Um, well, that's tough. It's like the run is not cursed if you went this way, but in my head, I'm like, I could, I easily could have justified going left. I think any given day I might have done it. I just typically want to go to the steel ring two in most cases. Um, I sure as hell didn't think a morsel maid would come here. Um, I mean, I could, like, I could just not take the morsel maid and try to still do a normal life. Because, like, morsel maker is a card I kind of wanted to see. Because that's a card I could infuse into any of the, like, awoken units to make them be pretty good. Um... Yeah. I mean, obviously, it, here's the thing. We already know if I go Morsel Mate, it's just going to be a win, right? So, are we learning anything there? I, I, my win streak isn't on stake here, right? Like, I can, I can lose this and it's just a challenge, right? Um, I feel like in the spirit of this, we should just take the Morsel Maker to, to not just take the... F this is such a stupid free win taking Morsel Mate. Let's... Let's stick to what the original plan was, I think. Because I feel like when I do these cursed seeds, it's like, on a few of them, it's like, oh, I went a route they didn't go. 
and I found Bounty Stalker or some shit. This is basically Bounty Stalker level, right? It's like, oh, okay. Easy mode. I already know how to win a Morsel Maid run. Let's 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 actually give ourselves a reason to finish this run. It's if by ring two I'm finding that I feel like I've already I've already like done a few minutes of content here. I don't want to just like throw the throw the content away, right? Um, I will say this: so I probably just do a battle stone. Um, I doubt that this you know unit is gonna really be. A unit by the end of this, it's just being taken to have an infusion. Well, man, if I get a multi strike, would I even would I take it? Probably not, realistically, right? I don't think I would. I don't think I take that either. Kind of want to go here. Get the, uh, like this is kind of a low value steal. Pyro remains is especially not that useful when I already have eventually full pyre health guaranteed as long as I'm not dying, right? Unless I just don't find any consumables other than Wildwood Sap. You never know. Uh, this is a unit draft that's much more takeable because we have so much removal, right? This is what we wished happened before. So luckily there's a unit draft here. Uh, I mean, we could just put them both on the floor, then I don't really have to do much else. I think that makes sense. Uh, we can actually hold that, I think, until... Why is a collector never spawn where I want it to? Um, are you dead? No, you're not now. They still kind of are, aren't you? At least that's getting taken out. Let's do that. Now this guy's still gonna damage our pyre, it looks like. Yeah, I mean he's definitely gonna. Uh yeah, just get that out of there, I guess. That sucks. Take two hits from that guy. It's actually a lot of damage. Almost killed him with that, huh? Oh, whatever. These die to the sweeper. It also sucks, actually. That I hate that just a ring two boss invalidates so many Umbra things, right? Die, though. Alright, 12 damage taken. Could have been worse. It's another making of a morsel. It's an engine upgrade. It's a prism of dust. These are all really good cards. Um, I guess tough thing is not knowing what unit draft we're getting, we don't really know what direction we need. Like, if it's a full-on Umbra thing, we just want the making of a Morsel. It's the best Morsel card other than Grovel, so we basically have just incredible mor Morsel cards. I mean, I have to imagine that's the call, because even if I don't get a good unit draft here, we have a artifact and an Umbra banner. What I'm kind of looking for is Alloy, I think, honestly. like. I can set up a, an alloy line and self-infuse, and that's pretty damn consistent when I have all these good morsels, and then just heals eventually. I, I think we just take the morsel. Uh, I guess that's technically scaling. It's pretty damn weak, though. Like, it's not even typically as much scaling as I'm getting from my shade splitters, if I'm not, as long as I don't roll, you know, rubber morsel. Uh, I don't know. Would it ever be good? It's just so non-impactful. It's half the scaling of a making of a morsel. Might need fodder for diligent. I'm kind of thinking we skip here. Is there any... What about vine grasp? Maybe vine grasp? I don't know. I think it's a skip. This is... As good as Glimmer is, I think... We already have two. It's already stuff I need to add damage to. Hmm. In 
interesting choices. Obviously not the Ember unit you were looking for. Um, hmm. I mean, here's the thing. Whenever I did this combo, Thorned Hollow with... If I could get the Shadow Eater was actually the, the most consistent thing. It's like the only time I like Thorned Hollow, and it's ac I actually like it a lot, but it's especially much more doable when you start with Restores on top of that. Plus we have Glimmers, plus we have Wild well, Saps. I mean, there's also the Awoken Hollow, but in the back of my mind I'm like... It's likely that I find a good Awoken here for Backline, but it's not guaranteed, and it... The problem right now is... If I go Awoken Hollow, and I don't find a Backliner, because Umbra doesn't have Backliners, right? I guess, like, this doesn't count, because it'll just cultivate the Morsels. Um, I may just... It, it, it's a lost run at that point. So, like, Awoken Hollow could be a lost run. Well, not really a lost run, it's just a waste here. Like... That depends on me finding an Awoken Backliner here or here, and it has to be one of the big three. Like, NMS Speed isn't going to be good enough. It has to be Sweepers or NMS of Will. Which, you know, it's a decent chance I get them, but... At the same time, Thorn Hollow on its own is just good. Even if I don't end up finding, say, the Nuts, which would be a, a Shadow Eater... It'll help me through the game right now of sort of AoE, which I have Glimmers, but I'm not hitting a Merchant of Magic here until there, so right now my AoE actually sucks. And I'm facing fucking uh, the Rage Talos. It's pretty fucking oppressive. Um, I already have a ton of Cultivates for, for this. I, I'm thinking Thorn Hollow is a safer pick here, because if I'm hitting this Umbra up, Thorn Hollow, so similar to like when you take a Fledgling Amp or a Tomb, it now makes a Steel have much more value because Endless becomes really good, or Titan Century, right? Similarly, I, th I feel like it, this Umbra banner is, become, is it gonna become a lot better, because right now Shadow Eater is just, is okay. We would want the Alloy, but if I take Thorn Hollow, now Shadow Eater is actually the best thing we could find. So now I have two of the uncommons that are really, really good and honestly game winning. Alloy on its own is usually going to be game winning with the, the morsels I have. Similarly, Thorn Hollow with the Shadow Eater is going to be game winning. So I, I think we just take the Thorn Hollow. Now, granted. I usually have to find something extra, but you're you're bound to find it, like, with the thorn... If I do get this, get a Shadow Eater here, let's check this first, see what we got. Intrinsic and 30 power. 30 power probably just goes on a Glimmer. Yeah, it definitely goes on a Glimmer. Probably nothing intrinsic. We didn't find Space Prism, that sucks. Yes, alright. That's what we like to fucking see. I'll do that right now. Yeah, definitely. So Morsel Maker probably sticks around, honestly. I can still do Morsel Maker behind one of these, uh, my Champ or Thorn Hollow, and this is actually pretty good. So we'll do this. Um, this is such a fun thing. This is like the, the most fun you can have. Although now that I've done that, I have a ton of shards. Let me see what I'm getting here at least. Oh my god. Thrown what the hell? I mean I I probably don't do that, right? I don't know. I mean I need to spam restores to a certain extent. Yeah, I don't think I can do gauge. Wing steel though, it's probably fine. 
don't know. It's pretty good with shade splitters. Um, and I guess basically everything I have, like making of morsels, grovels especially, like that's that's pretty good with that. Uh, if it's like the times five event, I would want a 30 the glimmer and I probably I probably would do that. I mean, I know it's a little redundant with what I have, but that's nothing else really has a good times five here. Then again, if it's like hammer, I would rather have the hammer to have plus 30 on it. Hammer is probably fine without the 30 anyway, though. Is there any other reasons to do one before the other? I don't think so. Petty theft, maybe. Uh, let's just check check this first. I'll be. It's probably going to be the times five event. It always is when I actually th think. Okay, never mind. This horrible event. This event sucks, dude. This event fucking sucks. I'll tell you what though. Maybe it doesn't suck. I wish I actually held off on the infusion now. Well, my thought is I could take these. I have to wait all the way to infuse, but I, c I could put Morsel Maker into them. And then maybe they're not horrible. I just plop them down wherever. And they clean stuff up. Thorn Hollow will beat any boss on its own, but I probably... Like I said, when when I need additional help, it's like I probably you really want to see like the ideal is shroud spike, but also like um, the artifact uh, petrified crucible, uh, or all, even a shard channeler. Though usually you want space extension for that to work, um, but the shard channelers do work. I've definitely won with just them basically in this. Uh, where was I going with this? But yeah, if I don't get any of those, maybe this covers that, right? The, uh, spike drivers. Definitely not taking the rail spikes. But the spike drivers... With the Morsel Maker Infusion... I don't know, is that even that good? I feel like that's not even necessarily that good. I think we just skip here. It's, it's just a bad fucking event. It's almost never worth taking. Eats up that third cavern, uh, which is so many times so valuable. I think it's just fine. I mean, we want to do a bunch of damage and heal a bunch. It's 15 shards, but I think it's fine. Definitely no intrinsic, though. 55 sh I don't know. Maybe I'm a dumbass here. We'll see. Five fucking shards. We could Shadow Eater bottom and, and Penumbra top. Because um, I clear everything here. I'm fine with that, I think. We're going to be... I think we're going to be in good shape there. We want to finish with in this fight with, uh, with Penumbra. I actually should have done that down there. Oops. Oh, whatever. Maybe not. I guess we do have a problem of trying to figure out where, which, you know, what goes where. I think we definitely want to get that in, that's what she said, um, to try to finish this off. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, let's just do that. Oh. Well, we might want an Ember upgrade. I, for I always forget that Morsel Maker for some reason costs fucking two Ember. Doesn't make a whole lot of sense. Well, we're just gonna take four. There's not really anything I can do about that. But yeah, you can see we're already doing. Man, I'm actually fucking taking shitloads of damage. What the fuck is going on here? I'm getting fucked up. This is what sucks. So it's. I don't. I don't know that I should have gone bottom here. There wasn't a whole lot of need for that. up being pretty fucking dumb. Uh, I think we'll do this. Gives this guy armor, but I think that's fine. I'd rather just get these out so I can cycle back into stuff. 
Then again, what am I even cycling back into? Not, nothing really. Okay, these will actually... It'll be better for me to just put these in. Oh, but of course it will be two fucking morsels that just die to fucking spikes. But of course. You fucking piece of shit game, you. Alright, whatever, just die to that then. Penumbra will finish this shit off. I fucking hate this whore. Whatever. Let's just let it happen here. Get my health back, finally. Fuck's sake. I can't even know. Is that my first time using refracting lenses to any I actually use here? Well, that's interesting. Wretch. It's really open for Shroud Spike, or at least Shroud Mitosis here. I guess quick on Penumbra maybe works. I mean, honestly, I don't know. I mean, spreading spores is just so slow. It's, I guess, okay into Diligent. Do I have any good hell vents? Not really. Yeah, I don't have any. Here's the problem with spreading spores. It's not even that much... It's, it's worse than a fucking restore. And it costs two. Like, if you're gonna make it cost two, I get it, but... Make it at least heal for like one or maybe two to make it more thematic with the whole two number here, like two cost, regen two, spikes two, heal two. Because you don't get a cultivate the turn you play it, so that makes it horrible. Now, would it be not horrible if it healed for two? Yeah, I don't think it would be. I think it would be a decent pickup in any rejuvenation based deck but it's fucking useless as is. All that being said, I'm like considering maybe using it. Um, you know, I, I don't know that it helps us that much. I gain more spikes from just a rejuvenation here, just a restore. I gain three immediate spikes, six total spikes for one ember. This gives me two spikes for two ember. Well, I guess technically it will give me the regen, so maybe that's not 100% accurate, but the turn I play it at least, it gives me, this gives me two, while the other gives me three. It just sucks, because we want to add, like, there's such good rares in the Ember pool, and I'm, I'm maybe skipping here, because even quick doesn't make much sense, like, maybe on Penumbra? I don't even know that I take it there. I mean, I guess... We may have to try for the Sulkin banner. We're in a weird situation now. We're like we need the Awoken banner to potentially do stuff for us. I guess we're getting a unit draft still. Tell you what, the wretch though, definitely Morsel Maid would have fucking done it, you know. Um Huh. I don't want quick because I want them to hit me, and then I want to hit them, even if I have a good backliner. I just can't see any good reasons to take quick here. I don't know that I have great reasons to take a wretch either. I mean, it could be okay. Do we just try spreading spores and be let down by it yet again? I guess we could try it. I don't know. Okay, well, we got our backliners, shit. Um, I don't know, though. The way I've built the deck, they don't really work, do they? They really don't. I've kind of painted myself into a hole here. <laughs> Unless I find a Void Binding, that's it. That's the only reason I can actually take these backliners. I didn't even think of that. Yes, yeah, this, this combo's rough. Um, it's 
probably just gonna be a skip. I think I still go left though, and I probably am gonna skip whatever unit. We'll see. I'm trying to think. Steel. I, I guess I would. I would take a steel singer if the steel singer shows up for sure. Um, but we we do want to cost reduce this spreading spores 100%. I, I think we're just not gonna be able to use these units, man. And I think we want amber because we have wing steel. I might want pip as well. Yeah. I mean, I know I'll be making a lot of these. I, would I want to double stack it? Maybe. Maybe. Yeah, I'd probably double stack the wildwood sap. I don't know. Yeah, it's just two ember. Shit frost. Makes basically no sense on any of these. Hmm. No wing clippings with the uh, wildwood sap. Even the wildwood sap falls into the same problem as spreading spores, though, to a certain extent. I mean, it helps for Relentless. It doesn't really help for the waves that much. But, I don't know. Wing Clippings and a Diligent probably makes sense. I could also see these kind of making sense, but I don't know. I've already got the Refracting Lenses. Do I really need another Pyre-related thing? Probably not. God damn, there's a million Thorned Hollows on this one. I mean, would it be weird to take another Thorned Hollow? Probably. Probably makes no sense, right? I mean, my thought is like, maybe I just stack a few regen on a few of them. Yeah, it, just, it probably doesn't make any sense. I think we can do it with the thing we have. We just have to find a little something more. There's a lot of little somethings, but I think we'll eventually find it. Let's bring it down by one. I mean, I guess I could hold out for a minus two. We got three temples coming up. But I feel like the mo I don't know. I'd really love to get this grovel down, too. I don't know, though. I feel like if I don't get this down, like, we want to make it just zero cost, most likely. We could put plus 10 there. I don't think we shit frost anything. Double stack. Good to know there's no hold over here. Do we just double stack this then? I mean, I did take an ember upgrade. Now I wish I held out for the minus two. I think this is fine. We want more spikes, right? Get that down by one, I think. And 10. There. Sure. Getting a lot of extra damage is good. Do, now I guess the other question, do we even want this Morsel Maker? Um, probably, right? I can't really feed Morsels to everybody. And every card actually, other than Stewards, are good right now. Look, nice thing about Thorn Hollow is all the Ring 5 problematic bosses are solved by Thorn Hollow alone. Would it be weird to take a Monstrous? I mean, I can fit Monstrous top with Morsel Maker. Not gonna work against Divinity, but honestly, Penumbra doesn't work against Divinity anyway. A lot of times I'll have like two tanks, maybe three tanks get through that are almost dead. I guess it depends on what the ordering of things. Like typically I would think I have Thorn Hollow, mid or bottom, and then these, this guy top. I gain almost double, well over double the gorge effect. 
could just find Umberstone eventually too. I've never really done this flex, but I'm thinking like, I don't know, maybe it makes sense. I'm gonna try it. Maybe I'm a dumbass for this, but let's let's see. Ah, God, 70, 70 fucking shards too. There's no way I can do that. No fucking way. Well, let me think about this. They, those guys would have 70 health. I need to gorge. Four times ten. Yeah, there's no way. It'd be too slow. I can't gorge enough times to even kill one of them. I, I'm not gonna do full damage, so. One, two, three, four. F Sprinting spores here, we'll see. Hmm. Yeah, I think it makes more sense just to do that right now. I don't know why I went mid here. That's pretty fucking dumb. Um, I can definitely do that. I should just do this then. And we'll do this up here. So far, I could have actually done Heaven Seal even with this guy sharded up here. Why is this guy doing 10? Oh yeah, because I battle stoned him. Okay, I did not expect to be able to do that. I guess I should have took the fucking Heaven's fucking Seal. Yeah, what the hell? How the hell is that happening? Beats me. Uh, damage is probably good here, huh? Finally getting the good morsels, but then I drop both at the same time. We we may need a pip upgrade, it looks like. Like definitely, I mean like definitely we need a fucking pip upgrade. Uh, let's just get this guy out of here then. Somehow with this ember I'm still unable to fucking play out my hands. So definitely ember was the right call. Trample actually kinda of the right call here too. Look at that. fine then with uh with whatever you call it really you're not killing this guy I'm gonna try to kill this guy if I can okay I guess I can't <laughs> whatever I guess I couldn't have killed him with any morsel I got there. He has seven health. I thought he had six. Uh, any consumables? Doesn't look like it. Yeah, I'll we'll just let it happen then. So maybe I can get the uh, more refracting men's health. This has a lot of synergy with refracting lenses, and it's a really good counter to Diligent. But then again, engine upgrade's pretty good too. It also has a soft counter to Diligent, and soft synergy with refracting lens. This also has a lot of wing steel synergy. Well, kinda. Not really. It has a lot of wing clipping synergy, but I find that there's weird programming with the way these work with wing clippings. I don't think they actually work with wing clippings, because 
I've had too many times where they just don't come back through the deck, but I don't know, maybe that's just variance. Like, I wouldn't, and then come to think of it, I don't know that I would want Engine Upgrade to keep coming back through the deck. Whereas Ember Cash, probably pretty good to have come back through the deck. And Ember Forge is just horrible. I think we can justify that. I guess we already have Spreading Spores, so maybe that was a bit of overkill, but we'll see. Alright, we need to... I think we have enough Ember. Jesus. Restoring Retreat might actually be okay here. Um, a lot of times we won't be able to finish a guy, but if I bring him back down, that might be what we need. I, I have used this with a Thorn Hollow before. I also don't know which route we're going here. We might want to go... Ah, I have no gold. I was going to say we might want to go the Trinkets, because... Uh, double Spike Artifact, but... Yeah, we'll just do that. The other two are probably not doing much for me. Maybe, maybe Invigorating Solution. I feel like I'm... I already have draw every turn with the Winged Steel, so... Cavern or Vortex. I mean, we still need to add health. That's all we want, though, for Thorn Hollow. We wouldn't even. I don't even know that I would add a multi strike if I saw it. Ah, uh, Large Stone. Starting with three spikes is almost enticing. They really need to fix this one, though. It's pretty weak. Like, it should at least be five spikes. Come on. Um, I don't know. Do we do a shitstone here? I can't go mid if I do that. I kind of. I guess another thing is I could use this to get morsels onto the floor. Shitstone costs a lot. If it's a micro stone here, I'll be. I'll have been glad I did this. I mean, it definitely gives me the health that I need, because I'm not gaining... What is my max health at currently? Like 80, about 100. This could be a heads-up play into Divinity. Uh, I definitely have to take a pip upgrade, but that's... It's okay. Maybe I should take this, huh? It's awkward, but I think this kind of makes sense. This also... Man, we, we would want a cheater's hand. There, I just don't know. I'm, I'm really limiting... I think because I added... Like, morsels aren't really a huge... As big of a part of the game plan of Thorn Hollow right now as they usually are when I do this, so I'm like... I don't know if the large stone hurts me that much in, like, losing floor space. I think it ends up being fine here. Okay. Uh, just... Way more ember than... <laughs> I guess that's fine. I mean, yeah, we could use it. We have shitloads of ember now. Seems like an okay thing. We're gonna get to our shard count, right? I can get 10 there. I wouldn't mind putting 30 on another one of these. Are we going too sharded too early? And I can get 10 there. And I, I'm not doing any more engage packs, so... I, mean, I guess we don't really need that, right? That's probably the worst card in the deck. I'm, I'm fine doing that. We want to cultivate a bunch. I mean, especially, we have all... I don't know that I even want the Vengeful Shards, so, like, we... We gotta remove Steward still, I think, right? Yeah, I, I probably want to get rid of those. I don't need all of this Ember. Like, I remember... I already took a damn... Ember upgrade. This, this should be easy, though, right? The Mark of Invasion. That's free money. This boss does not scare me whatsoever. Honestly, the troop doesn't either. 
it's a little annoying here that, uh, that now I'm getting punished for not taking the initial three spikes, but whatever. I, I think, uh, Penumbra... Penumbra sh I don't know. I don't want to take this damage here. Do this. Okay, we got we got this, that's fine. And I'm gonna do 15 by 2. This guy fucks me up, unfortunately. I guess we put him here. We definitely need a pip upgrade at this point. Kind of wanted to take a draw upgrade, honestly. Do we just put Morsel Maker behind? We're wasting all of our Morsel cards if I do that. I actually can keep him alive here. Might as well. These are just never going to get used, huh? I think we do just do this. Yeah, we can get our pyre health up a lot too, by the way. Wing clippings plus everything that I just had there. It's gonna be pretty good. We could actually restore and retreat this down since it's just dying. I mean, why not? Okay, no sense taking damage. Okay, this is not the best. Okay, that'll help a little. I didn't think of these glimmers are fucking clutch, man. I used all my ember there. Can you believe that? All of this shit I have, and I used all my ember. What the fuck is going on? I'm not taking this out though. How how am I only doing 29? I have 49 motherfucking spikes here. How much does this guy heal? 20? What the fuck? Wow, dude. There goes all of the health that I... So not having the draw upgrade is hurting. I thought Wing Steel would be... I mean, we're definitely going to win. It's just like... No, it's just kind of annoying, I guess. Alright, that can go there. Wow. These are definitely issues. Getting a little bit back, but it's not great. Do this just to draw. I don't know. I don't know if we can take the pip upgrade anymore. Definitely once we get going, we get unstoppable, but it's very slow going. I need like a bram... It pains me to say this, but I might need a bramble lash. Um, Ember cash. I guess another weird-ass strategy is I could just Ember cash. Again. And... Try to keep my pyre at like full health through that. Is that a weird one? It seems weird. I don't know that Pip helps us that much. I also don't think Morsel Maker helps us that much. I'm probably gonna remove Morsel Maker. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna remove Morsel Maker. I think I'm gonna take this and remove Morsel Maker. Oh, and Snare is definitely happening here. Yeah, that has, that's going to help a lot. That's kind of a godsend right now, honestly. 
Well, I don't think we gain anything from the merchant over there, but we might get double spike artifact. Even even like a gnarled root would help. Or just nothing. That works too. I guess I guess technically drop cage, but it kind of doesn't when my damage source is the enemy wanting to hit me. So I don't know that I even want drop cage. Um, I guess jack strips technically does damage. Yeah, I don't know. I, I don't see drop cage being good here. It's the weird case where. It really doesn't help. The whole reason of me bringing the guy back down is so he takes more spike damage, so I just don't think that makes sense. Double stack. Honestly, I might not mind that. Double stack there. Pierce there is not... Eh, it's not great. But, uh... Be okay. Um, I'll probably take it. I don't think I'll take the 30. I kind of wish I left one slot open on one of the other glimmers. I think I'm, I'm gonna get rid of Morsel Maker. It's definitely turning out that that wasn't very good. Get rid of these stewards, I think. So. I don't know. Spell chain or permafrost is actually usually what I'd want there. We're gonna have some of these where I think I think double stack here actually works. Like mini boss, I need at least two extra turns. Probably if I can't, I'm, it really depends on if I can find a shard channeler or some uh, maybe shroud spike or something at the next uh, fell fight. I think I would still want to permafrost it, or hold it over even, so I I'll leave the slot open. It's not as low investment now, but it's serving a much higher purpose. Like, it's a card where I'm almost certainly wanting to just have it be impactful. Um, maybe that right now needs to go down and cost the most. Surge done, that's probably fine. We don't really want to recycle it. 120, of course. Uh, I, I think it's fine. We, we wouldn't want to use this anyway. It's like literally the only one we didn't want to see. Wing clippings makes it so that that's not really all that enticing. I got heal. You never. You can't underestimate the amount of damage coming in on a fucking whatever his name is. Divinity. I don't know why I doubled up there. I'm getting, I'm getting kind of sleepy if I'm being honest. Uh, just trying to finish this one out. It's unfortunately not one I can really autopilot because it's not going to be easy. I'm not really finding much of what I usually want. I, I regret the large stone infusion 100%. I can tell you that. I definitely 100% regret that. I think we're going to go bottom with Shadow Eater. Thorn Eater, rather. I mean, here it's not so bad that I did this. So like, here, this is fine. Not that I needed the double stack here, but say it was a tank or something, I would have loved that. It's fine there. Um, we're gonna gain back health. I think I just go all in on this guy. Well, I don't know. I was hoping to try more morsels, honestly. Like, every other turn I have all these fucking morsel cards that I couldn't do anything with, now I can now I can't even hardly get one. I guess that's how fucking... I guess it's Scourge Arcus, not Scourge Fell. Same thing, right? Okay, now I'm starting to get this bullshit. Uh, let's get you there. Um, yeah, I don't think I'll try to recycle into those or anything. Now this is the guy I would have loved to get the uh, thing on. Okay, now I really do need to start scaling that guy up. I don't know if I even use that. Jesus.
Let's do this. Try to get a better one. I want damage up here, health here, and just do this here. First time drawing that. Uh, well, we want to do this here. He's almost dead. I could technically kill him if I did this. Wait, no, 52. No, I need way more. What am I saying? Alright, well, he'll just do some damage. It's fine. And again, just kind of not finding much. We'll do that. We're gonna try to finish Arcus down here, I think. I will say also Arcus can fuck this guy up. Pretty good. Um Okay, I drew all of those all at once apparently. Uh we can probably stand to do that. I guess I'm trampling though, so it wasn't like that necessary. Whatever. Better just to do the damage down there. Hmm. I don't know that I actually want to... Since the boss is here... I mean, I finish him up here anyhow. Uh, let's do that. I'm somehow, like, not getting any fucking... I guess this is probably the best... It's probably the best I could find there. I could do that. Life steal. We could, we could, we could maybe cycle into another life steal. It's fine. And we'll just cycle there. I mean, I got a lot of. We'll do half his damage. It looks like. Not a whole lot of regen, to be honest. I don't think we can do a pip upgrade, brother. That shit just ain't happening. This guy is not scaled whatsoever. Hmm. Is it better to put this down here? I am not drawing well. I don't know, maybe we need a pip upgrade. This will be the first time I've lost with this if I do lose with it. I guess it's still... I'm, I've only ran it so many times, but maybe I've been overconfident with how it's performed. I mean, I'm, I'm nearly killing him, but Penumbra's not going to hit him hardly at all. I think if I get a whole extra hit here, that should help. I think we just want these here. Yeah, I don't know what to do otherwise. Um... Gotta make up 500 damage here somehow. Damage shield's fine. More damage shield is fine. I suppose... I might get close. I got a lot of pyro health. Try for damage shield. Holy shit, we did it. <laughs> Jesus, dude. Nice. Ooh, okay. I breathe a sigh of relief. This could definitely get us there. Um, I probably help... Uh, I think I Hellvent it. I don't know. I'm like... I could consume remove it. If I Hellvent it... Honestly, if I just Hellvent it twice... It's damn unlikely I'm gonna, like... Not have it recycle a few times. You know what I mean? Um... I think we definitely do this. I was gonna do draw. Do I still do that? Now I really don't need that extra pip as much. 
because of that. I think draw would be better. Yeah, let's just do draw. Mid floor setups off the menu, but honestly, Divinity, I don't think Penumbra is going to stick around at all. I, I think we just stick to, uh, yeah, we got an incredible hell vent now with the Shroud Spike. Um, wondering what to remove at this point. Definitely that. Do I give up an Ember here? Um, I've needed my Ember. I like the Shade Splitters now. If I can somehow get a spell chain here, that would be great. No, what else do I what else do I remove? Is the double ember cache stupid? I feel like it's not that stupid now. I mean I could get a really big shroud spike off. Probably the wildwood sap is stupid now, right? Probably the spreading spores are stupid. Yeah, these are fucking stupid. Let's get rid of that shit. Granted, I'll give credit where credit's due fucking did work that last fight. A little bit of work, but I don't think we want it. Um, we don't want the other point of Monstrous. Once again, though, I don't think that champ's going to do anything for us from here on out. Maybe, maybe Ring 7, I don't know. Do we do this? I don't think so. I mean, I don't need any steel upgrades. It's I'm getting most likely 400 gold. I don't think 100 gold's worth 100 shards at this point. Hopefully I don't bite my words there, though. This might not be the easiest fucking trial, but I'm committed now. Is it really gonna do this to me with the Shroud Spike? draw it when I don't have any fucking things. Well, maybe I need to get rid of restores. I don't know. Okay, thank god. Um, oh. <laughs> I mean, granted, it's only a few here, but that's definitely the, uh, the morsel we wanted. Come to think of it, I should put a... F I could actually make Penumbra work, too. Like, I got some stuff here. It's six ember. Why don't I just do this and make him a fucking giant right now? Well, two for two on that bullshit. God damn it. Well, hopefully when I get the third one, I can't lose three 50-50s. I have yet to have wing... Hopefully I'm getting all the bad RNG out of the way right now, then. This guy will one-shot everything. I think we just focus then on this, right? I don't even know if I want to play that. I'll just do it here. Shit, I need fucking heals, dude. Larger ones than that. Come on, you fuck. How am I fucking dying there? You shitting my dumb dick. steal for later. Last wave. Can we get some help here, dude? Like, Glimmer exists in this deck, right? Apparently it fucking does not fucking exist. I don't think it fucking exists, bro. Oh, this is annoying. Um, you're just 100% dead. I guess I could kill one of these, though, if I... If I block a bit here. Alright, 
you can block that, then at least I kill that. I could keep... I could keep this guy... This guy's 260. throw that away. Uh, could just do that now, I guess. I should be able to kill that. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm fucking fucking the fuck up, I guess. Alright, that'll do. Whatever, just let that guy hit us. It's fine. I don't know, I might be dead then. I don't, this is fucked. This is just fucked. No other way to put it. it just a massively fucking low roll of the shroud spikes. I don't know. Is it that bad of a low roll? It's just two 50-50s I lost. It's probably not that much of a low roll, is it? Well, what do we want to do? Lifesteal? I don't care about these. This car loses one fucking health. Okay, Jackstrip's finished him. That's amazing. Good. Okay, I don't know how we're gonna. Don't know how the math will end up working out here. That'll help. Will it though? A bit redundant with the life steal. Wow, I didn't think we were gonna do it. We did it. We did it with like a half health. Yikes. Well, I am a believer now. I'm a believer in Penumbra. I mean, Penumbra, man, is fucking carrying the shit out of this fucking fight, so this run so far. Feast might be worth, if I'm being honest. It's not great, but it's not horrible. I think it works. Bramble Lash. Fuck yeah. Alright, we'll take Bramble Lash. Still don't know that Penumbra does anything from here on out. Honestly, tempted to go left. I mean, what are my vortexes removing at this point? Do I want these restores that much? I don't know. Yeah, I could help with the shred spike. I could also just consume remove it so I stop this bullshit 50 50 shit from happening. That would be the best case scenario, but it's only 50 50. I don't know, but then I got holdover, bramble lash. Still would probably need piercing for that to even make sense. Holdover and snare. Holdover, yeah, I can't really do holdover glimmer unless there's a light stone casing waiting for me. Um, so consumer move here is awesome. Holdover is probably good on something. Probably Bramble Lash or Ensnare. Permafrost and Snare is decent. Uh, if there's a spell chain, Permafrost, uh, Shroud Spike, and... Spell chain is amazing. Double stack probably is underwhelming here. Literally just Wildwood Sap. But we're guaranteed to have at least one pretty decent thing. I guess permafrost and double stack would be the most low roll, but I still wouldn't mind a permafrost. I wouldn't mind a permafrost, just in general. Some ember reductions wouldn't be bad. Some some spell damage probably doesn't fit anywhere. 
unfortunately. But yeah, Amber Reduction is... I have nothing to the steel as a thing, so it's just removal and Hellvent. I think there's more high rolls on the left. Um, and my Hellvent would just be a vanilla Shroud Spike. I don't know that that actually helps me that much. Oh, the nuts. The nuts would be minus two. And, hold, and consume remove. Uh, permafrost. Oh, fuck yes. Okay. Oh my god, the both of these actually might work. This gives me reason to play out those other... Would I be fucked up to take all three of these? Do I really need more ember? I mean, I kind of want to get rid of the shards if I'm going to do that. The permafrost isn't that necessary, right? Yeah, I could permafrost the ensnare. It's not that necessary. Um... I don't know, is a Hell's Banner that necessary? Because I don't have the Vortex, I don't have the money to remove shit anyway, even though I'm pretty low there. I think almost no matter what, I take Crucible and Shadow Box. There's just no way I'm not doing that. Am, am I going to be able to play 20 Morsels though? I have to be able to, right? And that's Godsend on the Divinity fight. I don't think we do Hell's Banners, though. My money's really tight. I actually wish I took the Divine Boons now. So I got a minus two. I think it goes... I don't... I honestly don't know where it goes. I don't need an Ember upgrade. We're, we're just gonna keep the shards, so I'm just gonna have plenty of ever, you know? I don't need that. Let's just re-roll. Hold over. I was going to put minus two on a shroud spike, um, especially if there's consumer move, but now I'm like, I could hold this over. Well, I could hold over and pierce it at a two cost. It's not like great, but I kind of want to do that. Um, yeah, it's 10 shards, but what are you going to do? Um, that's just too good. And then a minus two. It's more shards, but is that even that good? I wish we had a lightstone casing. Well, there's no re-rolling of the trinkets now. Um, I guess we could just remove stuff. I'd probably keep the shards, like I said, so... I mean, I don't know. Do I even remove anything? I, don't, I guess I don't really need the wildwood set. That's pretty unnecessary, but... What else do I do with my money, right? Definitely want to... Ember reduce something like just ember reduce that I think and then is it worth going to 130 shards here to do a minus two on like the other one I think it is honestly I'm gonna do it we're at 130 shards it's fine um, 10 get rid of I get rid of Feast. I don't really need Feast. I don't know what I was thinking with Feast. Yeah, let's, let's get rid of Feast. <laughs> I don't know what I was thinking there. Alright, and we'll just give this 10, sure. Alright, I am like pretty confident in this deck. We, we added a ton of power. Like, I literally do double damage on spikes. I have a, I have a Shadow Box that's almost certainly getting procced in a reasonable amount of time. Um, you're definitely going at the bottom. This gets played first. That is the easiest play of my life. Um, Alright, I could let that cycle back in. I know. 
necessarily have to, uh... I think I would like Ember next turn. Um... And I'd like to recycle... Nah, I don't, I don't need to recycle that. Let's just, let's just play these out. We want to get the, the Shadow Box counter up. Um... Okay, remember to play that first. Hmm. Well, this is maybe not as in the bag as I thought it was. I don't know, I've got I can I can make back a lot of this health. burn the shitty one, right? And, I mean, I can just take that hit, bad as it sounds, like, I think I'll gain all that health back. Just, uh, see what's here, then. I can take that hit. Well, we can get a lot of scaling here. Do we care about this at this point, when this guy can just finish everything? I think we just do this. 12 times, sure. That's a ton of scaling. And we preserved it. Which is amazing. Still apparently not enough to kill that guy. That's ridiculous. Well, anyway. Here's Wonderwall. We'll do that. It'll get preserved for reasons. Um, ooh. Seventy-three. I think for diligent, I want to get some stuff onto uh, to you know who here. Some spikes. See now I'm doing I'm doing some damage now. I'm gonna I, I will recycle for life steal. I think. Did we preserve that? We've preserved the shroud spike each time. This is probably pretty unnecessary. Yeah, let's burn that. Uh, it's probably better served there. Right, whatever. I don't think we need to play in snare here. He'll kill them. I kind of want his health to be up. I don't know, we should draw though. This this helps us draw. Yeah, we only have a few more turns to get ready for Diligent. I don't think Penumbra is going to be able to do much to Diligent. Alright, we got some sh... Ooh. All these lifesteal stacks. Check it out, dude. Got all of these life steals. That that's GG right there. Twenty-two life steal stacks. Yeah, that's that's the run right there. Oh, oh, oh. oh no! Oh my! Okay. Uh, we're just gonna do this. We're good up here, right? Okay. Okay, I think it finally didn't preserve. It's bound to happen. But yeah, we're, uh, we're good here. This is, by the way, why I love this. Granted, I, obviously, like I said, Trad Spike is the best we could have hoped for, but, uh, I've done it plenty without Shroud Spike, it's just a little less ridiculous. It's more like what the run was leading up till then. Usually I, I have some other stuff for it though. I guess if you just kept low rolling it might not work, right? But I don't know, I'm, I think there's usually some sort of mid to high roll that is enough to make it work. Let's not get ahead of ourselves though, we still have to deal with Divinity. You know, it's not going to be as easy. 
Like, I, I don't think I can use Penumbra in this fight. Definitely not like all over necessarily yet. Hmm. It's going to be a bit rough. these guys through. Um, okay, we would have obviously preferred... Could do that. Is it better to do it here? This will get us decently okay. Fortunately, this guy dies, but uh, whatever. I thought we would have done more there. I'm doing a hundred. Scaling here. Okay, I'm doing okay damage, but I gotta make sure I just don't die to the pyre. Like, that did a ton of damage. I'm a little worried here. Okay, hopefully we find Restoring Retreat, because, yeah, that's pretty fucked up. Play these out, try to get the uh, man shadow box. Sure, didn't do nearly what I thought it was gonna end up doing. We're, we're having trouble doing it because we're putting a lot into these spikes. Uh, this is fucking rough. Um, that. I could get that. boss up here probably gonna get me. Can I get eight <laughs> shadow bucks? Can I get to shadow bucks maybe? It's only 150. All right we got actually potentially the save here. So that's happening. That's happening. this happening or is it, like I want actually the double strike to happen right it actually doesn't matter um, but at least it does yeah I think we'll just do this we also low rolled in this fight and I guess I, we got one more spike in there somewhere I guess doing that. I think this guy's got spikes, unfortunately. Yeah, we're just gonna try to get to the, uh... Oh, is that guy life-stealing? I guess he is. 
It's gonna life steal anyway, right? If only I could get the uh there's oh this is a great turn to get that though. Boom, baby. Alright. We are almost to Shadow Box. I think we're gonna actually get it done here, it looks like. I think as the Shroud Spike's coming up, this actually ends up making more sense to just do the Rubber Morsel. Alright. Alright, we have decisions to make here, actually. I'm gonna give up. Damn, I was hoping I'd get into another morsel there. Do I keep this on holdovers for the boss? Or do I just try to do this? I think I just try to do this. Get as many stats here as possible. play a morsel here. Boom. Morsel Blitz. Guy still has 16. He has 220 fucking health, but uh, that should get me some health. We gotta play these out. So, I don't think I'm dying to that. I fucking hope not. Are you fucking kidding me, dude? What the fuck? Fuck you. I'm not allowing that shit to fucking happen. I'm sorry. That's such bullshit. That is the most load of fucking sh bull goddamn shit I've ever seen in my life. Dude, is, is it? Is the answer? Penumbra. In this one. I go with a penumbra plan here instead. I know I got nothing here. I'm gonna try it. I mean, I got two rounds of life steel to survive until I can hopefully find a shroud spike. Definitely some stats. Now I wish I had feast. <laughs> so Bramble Ash Holdover ended up not being the right call. Look how ridiculous this is. 328 trample damage doesn't even kill guys that have already been damaged. Wave 3 here that hasn't even been... Wave 2 here that hasn't even been fucking damaged. Goddamn choke. Uh, Lifesteal just dies. Everything in this goddamn game has fucking spikes. if I want to give them armor. I mean, this probably just doesn't end up working out anyway, right? This is legitimately starting to piss the fuck out of me. This guy's probably dead no matter what, huh? Um, hmm. 
least the mini boss actually kind of gets hurt by this. Us that much. I would love to put that into the shroud spike. Uh, well, both both shroud spikes are gone, so. That kind of fucks that up. Uh, hmm. I actually should have just put this down and shroud sp and groveled it. I'm kind of fucked here, to be honest. Just keep you down there. I don't know. Maybe we can somehow end up doing this. I don't really know how, though. Uh, I think we just play all these out. We try to get the shadow box off, I guess. actually. Here's probably better than just keep that down there then. Holy shit, that was the line. That was the line. <laughs> Makes no sense, but that was the line indeed. Oh Penumbra. Best champ in the game apparently. Literally solo divinity with a <laughs> with a fucking half monstrous half gorge penumbra. I don't know how that works, but that's interesting. I mean, that's pretty a rare deck. I mean, we had s all we had was shroud spike for him though. True, I had to reload, so that sucks, but it is what it is. Fight me about it. Um, I would not have thought that's the line. So we basically, honestly, Penumbra, it might have at some point just been better to all in on Penumbra in a lot of these fights. I wonder if that's a viable flex. It's just tough because like when he's four pip, the only high roll we really had here was Shroud Spike. Um, you know, we had no space extension. We didn't have like Shroud Mitosis or anything like that. We didn't find any um, Ember Drain cards other than the. Uh, perils, but that wouldn't have done anything because we didn't find any of the other ones, right? I'm trying to think. This was a pretty cursed run outside the Shroud Spike. That is literally the only good thing other than I guess Thornhall on Shadow Eater. 
Petrified Crucible as well. I love how like the everything we put together at the end didn't work. Like Bram Bramblash just continues to disappoint, I guess. I don't know, it doesn't it just doesn't do enough. Um Restoring Retreat kind of pretty shitty too. Though, I don't know, it did okay. And Snare ended up not really doing anything. Probably would have been better, I don't know. If I had a Permafrost, it did probably a lot better, of course. But I only had so much money on this run. So yeah, the Shroud Spike Penumbra basically soloed the run. Glimmers here and there added damage. I mean, I suppose if I didn't have the Ember Artifacts, the x cost Artifact would have accomplished the same thing here. Just goes to show the power of Shroud Spike, I guess. Shroud Spike into Penumbra. Very weird run. Technically not legit, though. I, I should have died on Divinity. That was bullshit, though, let's be honest. That, that last hit bullshit. I, I do love my... My weird ass reflecting lenses, uh, Ember Cash thought. I don't know that that ended up being that smart, but it was kind of hilarious. That uh, basically, it's like my plan is to, uh, with wing, between wing clippings and refracting lenses and two Ember Caches, hopefully just preserve my fire health at full for like the entirety of all fights, but that obviously didn't work out. I could have still won with Thorned Hollow on that first line, I think. Uh, probably just done the same thing, went top with it. I mean, I don't see how that wouldn't have worked out as well, I guess, but... I don't know. I'm, I'm impressed with... I, I still think Penumbra is a shit champ, especially the, the two paths that we got stuck with, but... It is pretty interesting that just Shroud Spike is able to do it there. Something to think about. Like, I, I'm, I, at the very least, I'm more open to this flex now. Like, the uh, Trample and Gorge flex. It will never work without Shroud Spike, though. So that's the, the thing I'm thinking. Only Shroud Spike has enough gas to, to do that. So... Whatever, probably talked it to death here though. Anyway, as always, thanks for watching, and until next time, peace.